Consider a situation, you and your friend have identical things, for example say same shoes with similar color and number. So every time it can get confusing while identifying which shoes belong to whom? Eventually you will get to know, but there will be confusion and sometimes you might exchange the shoes. Similar situation can occur with the data in database. If there is redundant data, that means if there is similar data we can face some issues. The solution to this problem is normalization. Hello and welcome to my channel Making IT Simple. So in this video we will simplify the concept of normalization in the database. With that we will also learn about various anomalies which are insertion anomaly, deletion anomaly and updation anomaly. So without wasting any time let us start after a short intro. So let's start with the definition. Normalization is the process of removing or minimizing redundancy from a table. It is quite easy to understand. In the table, if we have redundant or duplicate data, it may cause some anomalies or problems. It can affect insertion or updation or deletion of data. And these problems can damage the whole database. To get rid of these problems normalization process is used. Normalization tries to remove or reduce the redundancy of data. Let's try to understand redundancy in database with an example. So let us understand about redundancy and its consequences. Consider the following example. In this particular employee table we have columns like employee name, department name and salary. When you look closely you will see that second and fourth row of the table are identical or similar. There can be two Michaels working in production department, both having 18,000 salary. If we want to change the salary value of row 2, this will be my update query. Update EMP set salary equals to 20,000, where employee name equals to Michael. But as row 2 and 4 have identical values both row will get updated. So the salary value of row 4, which is now 20,000 is the wrong value. This can affect the database. These kind of problems and anomalies arise when there are redundancies in table. Majorly there are three problems that arise due to redundancy in database table. First one is insertion anomaly, second one is deletion anomaly and third one is updation anomaly. Let us first see about insertion anomaly. Let us consider an employee table in which we have employee ID, name, age, department ID, department name, department head and department phone and employee ID is primary key. Let us say we have two records, ID is 1. Name is ABC age is 34. Department ID is 7. Department name is design. Department head is peak UR. And phone is 123. Second employee is also working in same department. He is having ID 2. Name MNO age is 27. Department ID 7. Department name is design. Department head is peak UR and phone is 123. So this is our table. As you can see there is redundant data present in the table. Now we will see how the insertion anomaly can occur in this. Now first understand that we are storing employee details and department details in same table. Now let us consider a situation, let's say new department is introduced in the company. But the employee recruitment is yet to be done. So we just have a department ID, department name, department head and department phone. But we cannot just insert this much information in the table, we need to put some value in other remaining columns, and as employee ID is primary key it cannot be kept null. So to insert details about new department we first need to recruit employees in that department. Unless we have employees in that department we cannot insert department data. So this is what is insertion anomaly. Now let us see the deletion anomaly, we will consider previous table of employee. In this EMP table, there are two employees of design department and there is one employee of production department. As we saw before that this table contains data of two tables, one is employee and another one is department. Due to this we get redundant or duplicate data in our table. Let us say that employee XYZ of production department decides to leave his job. Now as he will not be an employee of the company, we need to delete him from the database. So we apply the delete query, and we delete that particular column which contains data of XYZ. 
But after we delete the data of employee XYZ, we have no information left about the production department. When we deleted the employee data, as he was the only employee in production department, the department details like department ID, department name, department head and department phone also got deleted. And this is said to be the deletion anomaly. Now at last, let us see the updation anomaly. Let us consider same table EMP, which contains information of employee and department. This time we have data of six employees. Two employees of design department, two employees of production department and two employees of R&D department. Now consider a situation, if department head of R&D department is changed, let's say MSD is the new department head. We need to do this updation to every row of employee who works in R&D department. In this example, we need to update two rows. Now as the table we considered for example is very small, we can easily identify which rows need updation. But when it comes to real situation, a company has tons of records, in that situation this task can become a burden. And if any row does not get updated it can cause inconsistency in database. For example, let us say here the value gets updated to MSD, but in this record the value does not get updated, this will cause inconsistency. Department head of R&D department will have two different values, which definitely will give rise to many problems. And this is what is updation anomaly. So these problems or anomalies arise due to redundant data. Let us see how normalization can be used to remove the redundancy from this table. Solution to this problem is that we can simply divide this one table in two different tables. One separate table of employee and another separate table of department. We will add department ID as a foreign key in the employee table. Now let us check if we face the anomalies. So first was insertion anomaly. Now if new department is added to company, and if it does not have any employee, there is no problem in that. Because we can now add department data separately. And whenever employees are appointed, their data can be added separately to employee table. Second we saw was deletion anomaly. Now if an employee leaves the company, we can delete that employee's data from database without deleting department data. And last we faced updation anomaly. Now if the department head of some department gets updated, as both tables are linked using department ID, we just need to update a single row in department table. And this will do the job. This is one example of how normalization can be used to remove the anomalies from database. So in this video, we learned what is normalization, what is redundancy in database, and also learned about different anomalies which arise due to redundant data. In further videos we will try to cover various normal forms. If this video helped you understand the concept, please like the video and share it with others. And if you want to see more videos like this one on different IT concepts, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of new videos. Thank you.